Can you guess what I'm holding? A cockroach. Baby bee. I want to invite you all into the Victoria Bug Zoo to experience the world of bugs. They are fascinating, they are interesting, and we'd like to think that they're kind of a lot of fun. This here is a leaf bug, there you go. A leaf bug from Southeast Asia. You'll notice that every part of its body looks like a leaf, kind of a tattered dead leaf. As it gets older, it turns more red to match the tree. Wow. You love to share the stories of the people don't have that ooh, ick, fear of bugs, right? It's true, that is one of our missions, that we try and help people with if they have any fear of bugs. You don't have to be afraid of them. Okay. I always come here, and when I leave, I actually think to myself, oh, they're kind of cute. You have an affection for them. It's like, hey, hey baby, you should give me a kiss. It is such a cool place to fall in love with the creatures that normally we hate, we smack. We stamp on. When you come here, you'll do. Oh, you'll do the opposite. You'll actually want to uh, take some home. Um, the ants are really amazing. Tell us where these ones are from. Well, these are the Amazonian leafcutter ants, and they say in the Amazon that they make four times the biomass of all the other plants and animals combined. So that means that most of the Amazon rainforest is these ants underground. This fungus is what their food supply is. They build this fungus themselves from chewed-up leaves. And then that actually releases nitrogen, which makes the rainforest possible because it makes nitrogen-rich soil. You're kidding. Yeah. And what are, what are they doing Lucky with these man. leaves? Those leaves, they carry them wherever they need them. Yeah. They chew them up. They mix them with their saliva, yeah. a little bit of their poopies, and that makes good fertilizer. And on that, they grow their food. So this stuff here is their food supply. Wow. Every instinct in me wants to scream like a little girl as I look at this giant spider, but I'm not me going too. to. I'm going to be more sophisticated. And you know, once you get to know them, they're not so bad. This here is Jane. She's very sweet, aren't you, Jane? She is about 16 years old, going on 17. Wow. And chances can live up to 25 years. So she's, a, you know, she's in the middle. Now, what do you have to think about when you're holding a tarantula to make sure that it's safe for you? Don't blow on them. They hate that. You know, no sudden movements, but really, they are moody individuals. They're, so sometimes they're not in the mood to be held at all. And you okay. can, they're very obvious with their body language. She has helped a lot of people deal with their arachnophobia. Just by the sheer act of holding a giant spider on their hand really helps a lot of people. I'm not sure if I want to hold it, but I do feel... You probably should. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. For what if she doesn't like me? For the world. Do it for the world. I'm doing it for all of you. There you go. So one of the first questions I asked when I started working here is, can they smell fear? Short answer is no. So this here is Chungalolo, or the giant South African millipede. And they're very gentle herbivores. When they get scared, they curl into a ball. The other okay. thing they do is release iodine. That makes them taste bad, ah. but also is a good disinfectant. So the chimpanzees in Africa actually grab these guys, shake them around, and then put the iodine on their cuts and scrapes. <laughs> no way. Way. We have a millipede on the island called the cyanide millipede because it releases cyanide, not iodine. Very cool. This is a stick bug, so named because it looks like a stick, obviously. Yes. And from all over the world, stick bugs <laughs> live and love. This one looks like a piece of bamboo because that's what she live on. Yes, she will go for your face, but you know, she's a vegetarian, so you're good. Okay, this is crazy. So obviously this is an incredible camouflage. Um, how long can these babies get? 13 inches, not including their legs. Yes. Every time I come, I learn something new. The bug ambassadors are so entertaining and informative, and uh, you will leave with a whole new love affair for these little creatures.